Hi, and welcome to this What's New session for B1 Usability Packet 2022.06 release. This is a quality of life release, uh, especially for people who are running uh, South Business 110 FP 22.02 or higher, which uh, is only out in preview right now, but will be released fairly soon. Uh, and it will give you a lot of uh, additional features. Uh, for older installations, not so much. But let's go dive into it. And the first thing is this new feature, um, which is all about hiding uh, user-defined windows. Um, in a normal installation, uh, if you did it today, uh, on an existing or a new installation that is lower than FP22.02, um, you would, in tools, user-defined windows, see a lot of tables. Uh, and that is because uh, we can't really hide, even if they are technical tables, uh, they will just need to stay here. In FP22.02, uh, SAP gave a new feature. So if you run that version of SAP and you run this B1UP version or higher, uh, you will end up only having that B1 up will actually show you only two tables, one for the license configuration and one for the license data. Because you really don't need all these tables because we have dedicated windows for them. Should you want any of these back or should you have an existing installation or a new installation that runs first on a lower version of SAP and then later on upgrades, we have also an external tool. So part of the B1UP download under the tools folder, there's a new zip file here called show hide user defined uh, tables. And if you unzip that and run the executable uh, that is linked to this, you will get this little tool where you will see all the tables that are shown in the user defined uh, window and all the ones you might want to hide. So here you could go in and in an existing B1UP, get rid of all the tables, uh, in not that you delete them, but that you hide them for, from the user. So even older installations could have this, uh, this benefit. Or if uh, you have, for some reason, some of our tables uh, that you still want to, uh, to see for some reason, you can bring them back using this tool. Again, we don't do this for existing installations. So if you already are on FP2022.02 uh, and you have an existing B1 up, we will not try to hide the, the, the tables for you. That is on purpose, so we don't break backwards compatibility uh, should you have done anything special in this. So that is the reason why you might not see any changes. And then again, you have this tool. You can, of course, also take other add-ons, uh, tables and stuff, if you wish to. Other quality of life features, uh, we have a few. Uh, function button actually got a new button type for production order. So that is mostly if you are on bill of materials and want to create a production order from that bill of materials. That's possible. Uh, in dashboards, there's some tweaks to the various BS out-of-the-box dashboards. In printed delivery, there was a small uh, misunderstanding in account balance preview screen could open up with no data. Uh, now it will actually close that window for you so it doesn't uh, fit anything uh, with the selection criteria. And in universal function, uh, we have had a few cases where people, if they use the store value system incorrectly, uh, the error messages while they came was not as uh, informative as they could be now they are more informative of what the sequel you used against the store is wrong or if you use a dynamic syntax that doesn't exist uh, it should be much better at explaining uh, that to you so with that thank you for watching as always the new release will be ready uh, if everything goes as planned it will be on the 14th of june and this uh, preview is out now uh, all uh, from the download.biom-it.com webpage. So, have a nice day.